So there's an expression used when doing work on old cars. It's that uh, things tend to snowball. So what was supposed to be a very simple and easy drop the uh, drop the oil pan turned into drop the pan, um, rework the pump, remove the valve cover, clean the valve chamber, clean the valve uh, uh, the oil uh, passageways, and uh, in cleaning the oil passageways. One of the ways you do that is after cleaning out all the sludge from the valve chamber, you wind up spraying WD or some tr penetrating oil through the system and watch it drip under the car. Yeah, it's not dripping through under the car. So, um, there's a problem. Well, <clears throat> let's get under the car, see if I can show you. I don't know if you can fully see it, but there is right over there what looks what looks a little bit like a uh, a half a slice of watermelon piece. Let me, let me get under here. This piece right here. This piece here. Okay. Well, this is an oil return pipe. I'm not getting any of the WD through it. I'm going to be removing this piece here, exposing it, hopefully being able to take off this piece in its entirety. Once it's off in its entirety, I get to clean that out. Um, I'm also in the process of trying to spray and I've got WD-40 um, filling up all these chambers which I've tried poking through wires and things like that. I, it isn't working. So I may have to do the same with a piece up in the front of the car as well that is much more difficult to get to. Um, I've got uh, um, hopefully some help coming later on. But for right now, I'm going to do this back part and see if that helps. If, if it does, it actually may, uh, I'm told, it may wind up eliminating uh, one of the big oil leak problems that I've been having since, uh, since I got the car. So that could be good. Still, it's a lot more work. It's snowballed, and it's not that half a day and you'll be done project than uh, everyone told me it would be, which I figured would take me two days. Yeah, yeah, I may have a, another weekend or so in on this. Bye.